Just under 20 for the Huskies. It's time for tip, to, tip off as Kepnick and Brent Chatfield in the center circle. We're underway here in the battle for Seattle, brought to you by Beacon Plumbing and Alex Schumacher and the Red Hawks with the initial possession here. Out there with Schumacher, Cam Tyson, and Paris Dawson down low on the paint. Kobe Williamson, who has the rock right now, and Branton Chatfield. Kobe goes one into the other in the painted area, kicks back out to Schumacher. Russ, like we talked about, we're seeing you dub in a man to man. Schumacher pulls up mid range shot off the mark into the hands there of Keon Brooks Jr. Him and Corin Johnson out there, Paul McKay, he, Frank Kepneg, and Moses Wood, the transfer from Portland that the Red Hawks saw last season. Kipnig, a, a specimen, you know, just size, physicality, and athleticism. Here is Wood, former pilot, dumps it down to Brooks. Brooks goes to work, pulls up over Kobe Williamson, no good, ball tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Kepnig of the Red Hawk ball. And that's what Brennan Chatfields have to, has to do tonight in the Seattle U Red Hawks. They have to box out the bigs, the athletic bigs. Mia, Kipnung, these guys can rebound, and they love second chances. Got to limit those tonight. One possession for both teams. No buckets so far here. Again, coming to you from Climate Pledge Arena in the Queen Anne neighborhood of Seattle, Washington. Cam Tyson, a very tough shot. Great defense there by Corey Johnson. Okay, he into the front court here for the Huskies. Johnson, a little bump there from Cam Tyson. Kept on entry pass here. This is going to be a matchup. Him and Chatfield. Kept on. A little shimmy shake. No good. Chatfield straight up would. Nearly saves it, but out of bounds to the Red Hawks. Great defense yeah. by the Red Hawk big man. Great defense, straight up, high hands. Pushed him out, didn't allow him to get any deeper. Interesting, right? So UW Huskies start Johnson in place of Wheeler. Wheeler, who's averaging six assists per game and uh, doing his thing on the offense is 16 points per game, but for that height on the defensive end against Cameron Tyson. Red Hawks nearly had the roll with Chatfield. Good recovery defense by University of Washington. Down to 12 on the shot clock for the Red Hawks. Step back. Shot here, Schumacher just grazes the rim. Tipped out, Cam Tyson wide open. Three balls, good. Bottom of the bunk, basket there. First drain three-pointer brought to you by Beacon Plumbing. Stop freaking, call Beacon. Cam Tyson with the big three, giving the Red Hawks the lead. He's getting closer and closer to that record. You saw in, in San Francisco six threes that he hit. Now he's starting off the game exactly how he started at USF. Just six away from the all-time record at Seattle University entry pass here to Brooks. Turns and faces against Schumacher and now tries to back down. Wood catch and shoot three ball right there. Tip for tat from the Huskies. Yeah, the transfer from Portland making a difference. Just like that, back-to-back -back threes from these two Seattle schools. Schumacher high screen from Chatfield. Spin move inside. Paris Dawson, who got the start today, down to Chatfield. Three ball for the big man. He knocks it down. Back-to-back -back trays for the Red Hawks. 6-3 early on here in Seattle. Swarming defense right now by the Red Hawks, but then Cam Tyson got caught right there denying Wood. And the Huskies, they don't want to get in a three-point shootout with Seattle U, right? They want to... Make them make difficult shots, run them off the three-point line, shoot contested jumpers. We talked to Chris Victor pregame. We said, hey, what are the risks of coming out a little bit flat? He kind of chuckled and said, we're not going to come out flat. That three ball a little too strong from Brooks. Offensive rebound secured in a held ball between Cam Tyson and Wood. We'll stay here with the Huskies. Well, Coach Vic talked about this being one of the biggest games so far and the players having it circled on their schedule, right, on their calendar. Like, there's no reason not to get up for this game, right? You got to be dead if you're not. Wood catch a shoot on the inbound. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Moses Wood with all five points for Washington. Yeah, and his height seems to be, you know, contributing to that ability to get up and raise up and knock down those shots over Cameron Tyson. Here is Cam, double team on him. Ball nearly tied up. Cam trying to get free in a held ball. will stay here with the Red Hawks this time. Good job there by Kepnick and Johnson to tie up the Red Hawk sharpshooter. And look at that. A sight for sore eyes if you're a Red Hawk fan. As checking in the game, John Christopoulos, who's been out since the season opener, he gave the Red Hawks a little bit of a taste. 18 points on 75% three-point shooting in that win over Prairie View A&M. 
had a hand injury. This is his first game back into action for the Seattle product. And the Huskies, look at that, causing a turnover off the inbound. Alex Schumacher's just got to settle in. It seems like he's got a little bit of nerves right now. The two shots that he shot were, uh, you know, not typical Alex Schumacher shots. And you just see there with that turnover, got to settle in and relax and play your game. One point game here, Huskies trying to take their first lead of the day. Drive inside, dish. Kepnick wasn't quite ready, recovers, and Kobe Williamson, who else? Put up some good shot defense. Williamson inside, and Kepnick took that away. Too athletic are the Huskies for that. Yeah, you got to throw it up the rim and throw it up over him. Johnson attacks the rim, and again, Williamson right there. Paris Dawson and Christopoulos in the front court. They'll slow it down. But the remaining three Red Hawks get into the front court. Schumacher. Williamson wants it. Him and Wood going to work on the block. Spin inside. Kepnick came weak side. It did not matter. The hook from the Aussie. Wow. Impressive there by Kobe Williamson. Up and over the big Frank. Three point lead here, 8 5. For Seattle University at what is their other home, we can say. Outside the Red Hawk Center on the campus of Seattle University. Wood going at Christopoulos in a shoulder to the jaw. And it's going to go against Christopoulos and take us to our first media timeout. The game started great.
but they're in, you know, they're in a deficit. Like they can't come out with the mindset they're up 14. Just five turnovers for Seattle U. 15 points off of turnovers for Seattle U. Got to continue with that. And continue to shoot the ball. How about Dawson? Four for four from three. As we get back underway here, Brooks, you know they want to get him going. He immediately gets a foul. He'll be at the free throw line. As Kobe Williamson picks up his third already, not what you want. Yeah, and now you see Chris Wheeler start.
Shea Riley, I thought that was one of his best dunks last game, man. And they continually get that play. You thought teams would kind of scout it better, but that baseline out of bounds action where he's throwing up to the rim is awesome. Cam Tyson inside, trying to get the runner off the glass. No good. Grant Chatfield. Back up. Dawson, extra pass. He's deep. Look how Entry. deep he is. Chatfield and one. They get Wood with the foul as Brent Chatfield will be at the line for one more. Seattle University President Eduardo Bedalvo over there. He's loving it as well. Great pink shirt, by the way, Eduardo. Who's that? Eduardo, the pre you don't know the president? Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> Eduardo looking sharp. Great oh, Eduardo. Suit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pink. So the, the I, don't know, I, don't, little, I, I don't. I don't want him to think you know anything bad. But the the, the, pink, the pink shirt with the red socks—that's a look uh, there. Man, classic man. I actually uh, got the opportunity to talk to Ed Water a little bit. And great person. He's yep. actually from my area, Tacoma, yep. but went to Clover Park. Interesting that uh, his father, who's a doctor, actually my one of my mentors, was the the pediatrician for his kids. So it's just a small world, man. And. Uh, great to see that uh, he's out supporting the Seattle U Red Hawks. And he's a man who wants to take this Seattle University, not just athletics, to new heights. Uh, big way to do that is big games like this. He can shoot those, yes, and he, he knocks can. it down. Will Helm riding back with the three, and you hear the crowd. They love it. Uh, big man from Nebraska. Yeah, you sub out Frank with athleticism, size, and strength, and you've got shooting smarts and, you know, ability to – really be crafty on defense inside Chatfield trying to go up and they call that clean straight up from Wood Whoa. Wheeler blows past everybody trailer Breidenbach oh look at him and he's fired up eight point game that is dissolved into single digits coach Victor wants a timeout in the Huskies they're barking yeah Wheeler talking that talk Talking that talk to Coach Vitt, talking that talk to Alex Schumer. Riley with a couple highlight plays, but again, you let the Huskies hang around, especially how talented they are. Yeah. They will come barking back. Yeah, it's not the, the party you want the Huskies hanging around, that's for sure. But for Seattle U, someone's got to step up, right? All those guys that stepped up shooting the ball in the first half have kind of been obsolete, non existent here in the second. Malik Goma in for the first time. The freshman going up against Keon Brooks. Never the easiest assignment. And Schumacher, the man out of Vancouver, Washington, down south, gets the midi. Stop the bleeding. Your gauze pad. Back to a 10-point game here, 60-50. 13 30 left to go here in regulation at Ledge Arena. And it's been Wheeler, right? He's been Keon Brooks has hit the waist. But Wheeler has been the one facilitating, you know, that 6.5 assist per game is kind of you know, what's keeping C uh, UW Huskies in the game. Dawson, who had those threes in the first half, gives it up to Schumacher. Schumacher and Wood dancing. Schumacher blows by him, goes up and Ooh. fouled, and he'll be at the line. Sound like a hard foul, a hard fall. Schumacher gets back up here. We're talking at that break. Spencer Haas, a Husky great. A lot of times you talk about local products being guards, but Spencer Haas is one of the best bigs to ever come out of the local area. He's sitting courtside. We've seen him at Red Hawk games as well. Don't, don't forget Brian Scalabrini. Yeah. Local product and Celtics legend, I guess. Yeah. Color commentating for, for, the, for their broadcast. Yep. Part of that 08 championship team as well. Cause John Brockman also was a local product. Big time Husky. And the Huskies, there was a stretch there. They, they were the program. Obviously, Gonzaga was doing their thing in Spokane, but talk about Nate Robinson, Brendan Roy, Conroy, Quincy Pondex, or Terrence Ross. I mean, there's so many great players that have come through Trey the Husky Simmons, program. Right? Yeah, yeah, Chester Trey Simmons. I mean, so many great players. Uh, well, 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 you know when you're, you got a movie, right? Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's true. Too. <laughs> big time program. Yeah, the whole movie. The dogs are used to being a great Travel. basketball program, as you see Breidenbach inside. And Breidenbach's cooking. He says, give me an opportunity, and I'm going to seize it. That's it, right? Just give me an opportunity, a chance to get on the court, and he's proven that he can be dominant. Kobe Williams is going to check in again. He has four fouls. That's why we have not seen him for the majority of this half. Just a seven-point game right now. Rakovic. Inside, and it just hangs up on the rim. No good, and he gets it back. 
He goes back up and gets it to fall. Victor Rakovic hustle plays. Yeah, padding his stats right there, getting off his rebounds. Again, Red Hawks just keeping that arm extended. Seattle, you can't have empty possessions. Oh, and the bump first before the held ball. And Breidenbach tries to sell. I think a little bit of a flop there. And him and Schumacher. Stepping in in his absence. Wilhelm Breidenbach has had himself a solid split of minutes here. I mean, it's been really solid there from Wilhelm. But Kepnick is appearing like he might check in at some point in the reign of this game, which is a good thing for UW. Redenbach really stepping up, making use of those minutes, man. Making a difference, and really part of their comeback is because of him. Brooks inside over two Red Hawks, and he gets his own miss and puts it back up and in. 63-56, then starting to tighten up here. Not even at the halfway mark. And then they call oh, an illegal screen against Victor Rakovic. And Coach Victor, I think he's saying, Hey, that's the same thing that happened on the other side of a UW, and you guys didn't call it. Next play mentality as you see Grant Leaf, Coach Grant Leaf stepping up and saying, come on, we got to get a stop, get it back. But UW can't allow that to happen, right? They got to continue to chip away. Again, the Red Hawks' largest lead was 16. And that has all but evaporated here. They're trying to Duck hold on. Brooks. Yep. Brooks. Oh, he's starting to go to work and just pops off. Oh. Red Hawks lucky there. Cam Tyson, coast to coast, oh. air Cam in an offensive foul. Tough one there. You don't see him attack the rim like that often, but that time he's called. Coach Grant Leap, the former UW Husky, yep. understands the importance yeah, the best of this. Shooters in UW history. Yeah, all time, right? Three point from Mount Vernon. And yeah. Wheeler just too fast. And and loses it. Yep. Something to look at as well. UW is now in the bonus. Seven fouls against Seattle University. It's funny, really, looking at the, the coach and staff saying, my bad. You know it's your bad, man. You got to let us know. Thumbs up. Schumacher and the Red Hawks. Trying to recapture that magic they had in the first half. Cam's going to have to take over. Maybe JC, Dawson, somebody's got to step up. Victor Rakovic, Wood again tries to sell it instead. There it is. And ooh, a warning against Wood as well. We haven't seen that as much this season. I'm surprised, right? Because, because you know, you've got to hold these teams accountable, these players accountable for wasting the ref's time, right? Don't waste my time with that. So Cam Tyson's going to take the technical free throw oh, there yeah. on the flop there by Wood. Yeah, funky fish, right? Trying to fake it in, but no. Again, I thought there could have been a couple more times with Kobe Williamson that we talked about that could have been an offensive foul. Cam but, Tyson at the line, yeah. knocks it down. But, yeah, I, I agree. Could have been an offensive foul yeah. or it could have been a flop, you know what I mean? But I know the reality of it is is that you know, They're Kobe's, very bang-bang plays, too. Yeah, Kobe's not the strongest, most physical guy. So, for him to bulldoze somebody through. But great call by the refs there. I think Kobe might ask you to meet him in the weight room. Hey. I don't know. I, I'm not going to co-sign that with you. Hey. <laughs> Wheeler with the ball here. You know, yeah. Huskies trying to bounce back from what turned into a three-point play there for the Red Hawks. Brooks inside. Kobe Williams it on him, picked up his dribble. Now Johnson with 10 on the shot clock. Good. Wheeler shot. Oh, wow. Way left of rim and tipped right back out. Gotta Johnson inside and floats through the air and lays it up for two. Yeah, we talked about that earlier, Russ. You got to limit the Huskies just to one possession. You know, give them opportunities to score. They're going to do it. Eight-point game here, under 10 remaining. And I know for Coach Vic and the CLU coaching staff, this nine minutes has got to feel like an eternity. True skip pass, Christopoulos. Gets Wood to blow by him. Christopoulos pull-up shot, no good. Ooh. Right there, Rakovic has it blocked off the backboard. The coaching staff wants a goaltend. They're, They're not going to get it. Keon Brooks with the clean foul, or excuse me, clean block. Yeah, but it way. hit the backboard. He hit. He blocked it off the backboard. They just missed it, huh? Wheeler inside going right at Kobe. Three wow. ball, got it, knocked down. Keon Brooks leaves the hand in the cookie jar. 
It's a big three and it's a five point game. Huskies on the bench and in attendance getting a little bit rowdy. Let's hope it's not that same story for Seattle U, but right now it's looking like it. Kobe Williams in. Oh. He drives back and slams oh. it home. The Australian, he takes flight with two hands. Yeah, he said, Corey, I'll beat you up. That's what I'll <laughs> Good take to the basket, man. Kobe is dominating in the paint right there. Love to see it from the Aussie. Brooks back-to-back -back tray balls. He got it again. Keon Brooks, he has a little six-point run. Yeah, and he says, I can't do it from the inside, I'll do it from the outside. But you're talking about a guy that only shoots 25% on the season from three. Schumacher on the block, back out. Rakovic, three ball, no good. Off the rim, out of bounds. Last touched by the Huskies. Red Hawk ball. Last chat field to Paris Dawson to check into the ball game. Man, this might go down as a classic in this series. Again. Two programs that back in the heyday used to be really solid. Obviously, the Red Hawks had their glory days in the 50s and 60s. Red, Huskies obviously have had a few more glory days since then, but still, it's just turning out to be a classic here. Chatfield inside. Maybe. Hook shot, no good. That's got to get back now. Don't commit a foul. Four point game here. Wheeler and the Huskies. Uh, Brooks now with two back-to-back -back threes. Does he, can he get another one? Wheeler, look at the nifty handle there. Pulls up and foul. And was it Kobe Williamson? Oh, Kobe Williamson's night is done. And Kobe. A compliment to Wheeler and his ability to break down the defense and feed the big. 32 points in the paint so far, but Seattle U's got to step up, whether it's Dawson, who's only got two points in this half after coming off. You know, 12 points in the first half, four for four for three. But someone's going to have to step up and score the basketball for Seattle U. Severe Wheeler is the first UW player and seventh Pac-12 player to have 12 assists and zero turnovers. He has two today to go along with his 10 assists, but still solid game for number five. And it's a three-point game here after the free throws. Yeah, 16-point lead diluted to just three. Schumacher, near side wing here. Chatfield going to work on Breidenbach. Is right in the body of Breidenbach. Help is right there. Shot is up and ripped away. I think Keon Brooks had his hand in there. Yeah, he had he had it over his right shoulder, but wanted to go to that left shoulder. It was giving him baseline. Huskies a chance to tie the ball game up or at least cut it to one. Wheeler off the screen from Breidenbach. Breidenbach, Breidenbach is waiting for it. Yeah, he yeah, wanted the three. Open. He already has one. Wheeler inside. Scoop shot. No good. Tip to Paris Dawson. Red Hawks on the break. Got attack, you got numbers. Red Hawks slow it down. It's a matchup, right? Got one four flat, get to the basket. Schumacher on Brighton Bob. Goes off of uh, Fader, yes. breaks it in! And he says, get on your feet, climate pledge. Uh, coaching staff was like, what a, okay, let's go. But again, if he didn't hit that, that would have been a very tough play for Seattle U. Wheeler blew by Cam Tyson, had him in the air as well, still wasn't able to convert, has the ball back down to the paint. Breidenbach now. Him and Chatfield battling. Breidenbach turned, shot, flicked ah. it up, missed everything. More of a pass to Shea Riley. Red Hawks trying to bring in the Cam range. Tyson. Cam Tyson, no good. Ball secured again. Chatfield. Can they get Cam going? Can Paris Dawson reignite? Take your time. Eight on the shot clock. Schumacher has to get to work. Down to five. Schumacher, oh, he deep three. Him. He was fouled from three, and Schumacher will be at the line for three. And Wheeler cannot believe it. He's still all on the ground. Finally gets helped up by Wood there. That is the third one and a 16 foul against the Huskies. So the Red Hawks are one away from the bonus as well. And the freshman Malik Goma about set to check in. Looks like Cam Tyson just kind of huffing and puffing here. Alex Schumacher just one for two from the free throw line today. A chance to really, you know, give Seattle U some confidence, some momentum. Get this lead back up to eight to ten. Get to double digits. You know, you could feel pretty confident. 
Schumacher, a 77% free throw shooter. And as you said, you gotta get the free ones. Yeah, gotta get the first one though. He leads the WAC and the team, obviously, in assist and assist per game at four and a half. Just over 12 points a game, and he gets that one on the friendly touch. Malik Goma will check in for Chatfield instead. So the Red Hawks going a little bit smaller here with Goma and Shea in the front court. It's interesting the substitution, bringing in your freshman Goma, who only played limited minutes in the first half. He didn't appear at all against San Francisco either. Yeah. Yeah, you still have Voss and Rakovich on the baseline. And Shea Riley! On the offensive rebound. Get it out of the corner. Schumacher went one for three, but the Red Hawks have a chance Watch again him. to add points. Cam Tyson, ball in his hand. Him and Wood. Crossover. Step back. Three Short. ball. And he was fouled by Wood. Oh, my goodness. Again, the Huskies want to keep a hand in these shooters' uh, faces. But again, you got to give them room to land. No, that's you got to be smart, and that's one thing you can't do. I mean, that's one on one. Don't foul a three point shooter. Coach Vic really got on the refs uh, the last time out. You know, very intense conversation. I know he's got to feel a little bit better about the calls that are happening right now with those two, you know, fouls called on three point sh shots for Seattle U. <laughs> you know, Mike Hopkins on the other end, he's barking at the refs like, "Hey, what's going on here?" Everybody feels like they're getting cheated. But Seattle U's got to make the free throws, man. They left now three points at the line already. How yeah. big those are going to be when you get into that final minute. Again, yeah. try to make it two of three. And he does. Red Hawks get 50% at the line there. They want more, but now they've got to switch their mind to defense. Husky's going to take a timeout as Mike Hopkins and... University of Washington want to regroup a little bit here, Corey. They raced back into this ball. Hawks in that first hill slash Capitol Hill neighborhood. And, of course, the Huskies on Montlake over there. It's been a great athletic season for the Huskies. Obviously, they're in the college football playoff right now. Their basketball team took down Gonzaga on the men's side as well. Wheeler drives inside. He dropped his shoulder. No call. And Shea Riley tries to save it. But, wow, I'm surprised there was no call just based on how it's been called so far. Yeah, that's, I know Coach Vic kind of just like, hey, but again, you can't dwell on it. You got to have me next play mentality, but 100% that should have been a charge. And Parrish Dawson did a great job of getting his chest in front of Wheeler. Looks like Shea and Keon Brooks just saying, hey, boys, keep it clean. <laughs> and Shea's like, hey, he's got his leg behind mine. <laughs> Yeah, no one wants to lose this game, I assure you. Maybe for different reasons, but both teams would love to come out of here with the win. Yeah, and Shea Riley, no one, no, not the one to back down from anything. No, not at all. Right? He's usually got his... Wood catch and shoot on the inbound. Johnson had it, taken away. He has it back, and he's fouled. He'll be at the line. And Shea, no, Schumacher is the one who fouled. It's the second one on him. It's just that ability to box out and finish the possession. Man, Corn Johnson, super athletic at six foot two. He's a bulldog as well out of Garfield High School. We know how great that program is. He won the 2020 state title with Garfield. And that went off. And if I'm not mistaken, there's been a few bulldogs in the Husky program over the years. <laughs> Can't pinpoint which ones, yeah. but there's, there's been a few. A feeder system. Yeah. That's what they got a feeder <laughs> team there. Rainier Beach, Garfield, whatever it is. This Husky program's done a great job of keeping local talent, but now it's really been the Red Hawks. Look, John Christopoulos on this squad, Cam Tyson on this squad as well, Schumacher, Vancouver, you know, a little bit further south, obviously, but still in state recruiting is a big thing in a state that's such a hotbed for high school basketball. Yeah, some really good players in the greater Seattle area. Got to call timeout. And that's not what you want at all. Chris Victor not happy that he had to blow a timeout in that corner. Uh, you just don't catch it in the corner. To play the, all their home games at what was used to be called Key Arena. But since the remodel, they played here on special occasions. Gotta Christophilus floats it up. Who did he float it to? I have no clue. Breidenbach just took it away on his seat, and they throw it up. The Huskies do. They're going to try and score off this. Brooks on the block. Now works it back out. And Christopoulos has been out, right? He's been sitting the bench. It's just interesting substitution, putting a guy in that position. I know he's confident, but. Coach Victor said, 
Turnovers killed us last year. And there Wheeler is. And Shea didn't want to foul, and he lets him blow right by. Husky. There you go, Intensity Dawson. picks up Paris Dawson, dribbling up the court. Transition. Christopoulos no good. And Shea Riley double was foul. fouled. No, it's a double foul they call in, on Woods and Shea Riley. Lucky on that possession. Yep. It's a five-point game here. Red Hawks just holding on. Check the to Schumacher. Oh, you had the matchup you wanted if you're Schumacher, right? They want to get it to him. Wood. He's helping down low. Schumacher drive. Cam Tyson, three ball quarter, no good. Wood on the rebound. Cam Tyson's gone cold. Wheeler quickly wants to attack. Paris Dawson, he might have gotten away with travel. Breidenbach on the finish. Huskies within three. It's the combo, right? You know, Wheeler's just stacking up the assist, but he's getting so deep in the paint that the big just has to trail. He just drops it off. Breidenbach, man, he needs to take Wheeler to dinner for sure, man. He's just getting spoon-fed. One possession game here. Inside scoop, Paris Dawson. Cam Tyson, corner, three ball, Schumacher, good! Eight shot. Corner ball. 76-70. Red Hawks extend that arm again. No foul. Right. You can play smart if you're Seattle U. If you're Huskies, you're going to get Wheeler in the paint and do Wheeler, what he does. Yeah. Man, he has been putting on an absolute show. Mike Hopkins is going to take the timeout. We're going to go to a break, but cannot wait to talk about how. Man, just blinging over there. Four point game, three and a half minutes, which is an eternity yes. if you're the Red Hawks. It's plenty of time if you're the Huskies. And the Huskies picking up the heat, picking up 94 feet. Cam Tyson going to cross the timeline with the Rock. He's going to give up to Schumacher, who had that last three. Red Hawks, again, they want to score on these possessions. Keep that arm extended. Oh, he missed Cam coming off. Why? I don't understand that. But, you know, you drop a play. And... Cam Tyson, crossover, pull up, elbow jump shot, just grazes the rim. And a foul is going to be called here against the Huskies and Wheeler. Oh, man. Oh, is it Brooks? Eon Brooks picks up his second. And again, the Red Hawks come up short. But the Huskies give them another opportunity yeah. as now Shea Bradley, who's much improved at the free throw line this season, will settle in. Yeah. Kind of got bailed out, but... It's still one and one. Yeah, Riley's got to make him pay, and this is so important, right? The EOG end of game situations, three minutes left. Right. Every possession matters. He's shooting 61% on the season at the free throw line. He had nine points, including going three of three at the line in San Francisco. And, of course, the jinx, as always, works perfectly as Keon Brooks grabs the rebound off the miss. Wheeler and the Huskies trailing by four. Wood on the handoff. Gives it right back to Wheeler. Severe. Goes right off the screen there. Now Wood pick and pop. A little bit of a pop tart action there. Gets him in the air. And it's a one possession, two point game yeah, here that, in Seattle. That's just a flyby, right? You're running him off the three, but you got to stay in the play and guard the bounce, man. That's lazy defense. Will Conway trying to pump up the Husky faithful in the arena. Shea Riley. Well, to Paris Dawson. And he's been quiet here in the second half. Schumacher. Trying to get the head fake. Turn around shot. Alex Schumacher. Again, can the Red Hawks trade baskets long enough? Two minutes remain. They got to get a stop here. Wheeler. Johnson inside. He goes up. Oh, and who's the foul on him? But it looks straight up there. It's going to be Schumacher. So that's a free throw line. In the shooting act, so it'll be two free throws. They were in the double bonus either way. Yeah, said he grabbed his arm. Corey Johnson, both like, you know, he and Wheeler love to spin back, right? So they attack hard and spin back to the basket. Thought Brett and Chatfield was there, but got the call. Corey Johnson at the line where he's 80, 63%, excuse me, and hits the first one. An 11.4 assist performance against Gonzaga in that win at Heckhead. Right now he has 13, him and Brooks. 
Both on the court with 13 for the Huskies. And just got the shooter's touch on the second one. Two-point game once again. One tick over two minutes. Cam Tyson over to Paris Dawson. Red Hawks got to play with confidence. Can't get lost in the moment. Cam Tyson, pull up three, and an offensive foul on the screen from Chatfield. Ball wasn't going in regardless, but you don't want to give up the foul. It's non-shooting here, but again, the Huskies can have the chance, Corey, for the first time tonight to take the lead in this game. Uh, I mean, it's going to be Wheeler attacking and facilitating uh, as they've done to kind of just over a minute 30. They have to dilute this lead, man, but you got to do a better job defensively and find a way. It's got to happen here for the Red Hawks if they want to win this game. We dip under 90. Keon Brooks into the body of Riley, trying to back him down. Brooks rises up, tough shot, and he knocks it down. We're all tied. 78-78. Husky fans erupt here inside Climate Pledge. That's a tough shot. Now you see Will Conroy trying to pump the crowd up. Schumacher to Chatfield. Gets Breidenbach. Back out. Ten on the shot clock. Schumacher. Breidenbach got the mismatch. To Dawson with three. Dawson goes in. No good. Misses everything. Husky ball on the shot clock. Violation. And Husky Nation inside of Climate Pledge is on their feet. Wow. What a turn of events here at Climate Pledge. Yeah, tough shot, man, by, by Brooks that last time. Shea Riley doing a great job of being there with the high hands, but Brooks able to raise up and do what he does, score the basketball. Right now the Huskies are turning into closers right now. They're five of their last five have stormed back. They're now shooting better than the Red Hawks across the board, including at the free throw line right now, which is the biggest disappointment right now. If you're Chris Vick, you had a lot of chances to press this lead a little bit further, and your players just could have knocked down the free throws. No, not at all. And they, you know, no one really stepped up from the guard perspective for the Red Hawks really to you know, make those three-point shots that they're making in the first half, but you still have the opportunity to win the game, and it starts with a stop right now. Both teams with just one timeout.